What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalize Espresso and welcome back to another Infinite Warfare video here today on the channel. Today, we're only seven days out, one week away from the release of Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare here. We have a lot of stuff coming up on the horizon here within this next week. A lot of cool stuff to look forward to, but in this one, we're going to be talking about a little bit of an easter egg here within the map throwback in the bowling alley more specifically here with this, but it's one of a few easter eggs already found here within Infinite Warfare and the game is not even completely launched yet here with it. So, it's something very cool here I think we can take a look at and honestly whenever you see it it pays a little bit of respect to another Activision title here from quite a bit ago but before we get too far into it if you guys enjoy the video maybe drop a like down below and if you guys are new to the channel maybe consider subscribing to stay up to date with everything Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered but all that said let's talk about this here once again on the map throwback in the bowling alley if you take a look at some of the arcade machines you'll need a sniper for this one to see it but there is an arcade machine branded with Activision Star Master now, if you guys know what this is, a lot of you guys in the younger audiences may not, and honestly, I didn't know entirely what it was. I recognized the name, but I did not know exactly what it was from. It was one of the early original titles that Activision published all the way back in 1982. Designed by Alan Miller for the Atari 2600, Star Master was supposed to be a game that was similar to Atari's 8-bit Star Raiders and also Space Invaders. So, that said, it was something that was a first-person cockpit view here of this, where you had to destroy incoming enemy starfighters and also also defend your friendly star bases. So at the time it had pretty good graphics for the system that it was on and there was actually a decent amount to do here with this. There was a star shaped galaxy mapped into 36 sectors. You could use laser weapons, shield and faster than light drives and all in all it was supposed to be a little bit of an alternative to space invaders whereas space invaders went on forever. It was endless waves here with this. This actually gave an endable outcome here with this. You could actually destroy every enemy starship and then also save all your star bases bases, and if you did that, well then the objective was completed and you beat the game. Now, of course, it doesn't come anywhere near what we are at currently with graphics or anything. We gotta remember this was 1982, and this was still the very startup of the gaming industry, the boom that was going to happen as a lot of people probably did not expect to happen in the capacity that did the past 30 years here with it. So obviously, Star Master is nothing compared to what we have now in Call of Duty, the hyper-realistic graphics, all that good stuff, but all that said, it is something to pay a little bit of respect to one of the early titles of Activision, and here I think is a very cool easter egg, once again on throwback in the bowling alley, one of the arcade machines here branded with it. But all that said, I think it's a very cool little easter egg, I love seeing these kind of things here, and especially the ones that make you think a little bit more, that make you think outside the box and towards things that you might not recognize initially just from the Call of Duty series. So that said, I think it was a very cool Easter egg. I just wanted to share this with you guys here. Huge shout out to Reddit user Blitz202 for the find here on this. He was the one that brought this to the attention of the mainstream community here over on Reddit. And it was something that I thought was very cool and I wanted to share here with you guys. But I think that's where we're gonna wrap it up. Just wanted to showcase this here. Short, simple, and sweet for you guys. But leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys looking forward to more Easter eggs here within Infinite Warfare? Because we've yet to scratch the surface here on what we can see within all the maps so I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of little Easter eggs hidden throughout not only the campaign zombies and then also multiplayer but even more so going forward into the future so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys did enjoy if you guys did make sure to drop a like down below and if you guys are new to the channel maybe consider subscribing to stay up to date with everything infinite warfare but thank you guys so much for watching one week out now I'm super hyped I'll see you guys later though my name is Nicolai Espresso take care and peace